so uh, this session is more about uh, math gui uh, i'll be explaining about dashboards channels and uh, users over here let's go to uh, math integration engine so like uh, you might not be able to see uh, the channels over here but uh, for example i created a few of them so uh, if you go to dashboard uh, you will be able to see the name of the channel which is like i created it as 3tcp8003 you can name it as it required and you can see it has been last deployed on this particular date and it has received around four uh, hl7 messages and one has been filtered out one nothing has been queued two have been sent and one is error i'll be explaining about this dashboard now so when you when you see uh, four messages have received means this particular channel has got around four messages from some inbound source and one has been filtered means uh, one message has not crossed through because we don't want this particular message type or like message field over here zero have been queued means nothing has been stopped in this channel two have been sent and one has been errored out due to some logic so i just made sure uh, we have all uh, fields over here to make sure uh, we'll get some understanding so let's uh, just uh, expand this so in this particular channel when we say like this is source and this is destination we'll get a message from here and the destination will will reach the message over here so you can see source has received around four messages and everything has been crossed over here nothing has been stopped so this four messages have crossed this particular path and entered over here so the destination inbound has received around four messages one is filtered out okay one is errored out means four minus two like two have been sent so this dashboard generally explains the basic uh, flow of the message and everything if you want to like uh, like cross check in deep how this thing works you can double click on source or destination i am just clicking on source so you can track the messages over here so uh, when you click on any particular message it will show the path so this is the raw messages which we have created over here this has been encoded and this is the response we got the positive act for this particular source so uh, when we compare this with rhapsody ensemble ensemble clore leaf core point things are a little bit different over here when we talk about channels and sources so we shouldn't get confused we need to focus more on this topic uh, the more we practice the more we learn over here so when we go to destination again so we we can see the errors over here so for example this has been filtered out so we have only raw messages over here when we check the error out messages yep this has been errored out so uh, i'll be uh, going uh, too deep into the topics uh, once we cover more topics regarding this gui so i'll just go back to dashboard this is the basic explanation about how things work with the dashboard and if we go to channels so you can see dashboard is used for support purpose after building channels is used for creating new interfaces for example i created four channels here uh, in math we call them as channels in rhapsody we call them as routes in core in core point we have different names in ensemble we have different names so a thumb rule is like i can i can say like i created four interfaces so if i double click on any particular channel okay i'm going to click on this one only we can see a lot of options over here the source the destination the scripts and everything if i want to change anything over here from tcp to http and everything we can uh, deep dive once again on this part so the channels is basically for uh, development purpose for example i can right click on here i can create a new channel i can name it as apple whatever it is i'll go to source i'll go to destination i can even change the destination one name as apple okay like it, it it depends on our requirement i can add scripts over here and i can do click on save and deploy channel you can see the channel has been deployed uh, in the dashboard you can see it is apple even in the channels place it's apple over here because we name it as apple it's in simple steps i explained it but we'll go deeper soon on this particular topic so this is the concept of channels is nothing but uh, building the interfaces if we go to dashboard it is nothing but uh, supporting the interface after moving it to live users so we have like uh, currently i am one of the user over here even i can add any other user for example i can add a new user and give the name for example if we have multiple resources in our team and if we are using production server we can give 
uh, a username so I just I'll just give it as a cat as username and password as username and again confirm password I'll finish it if I want to launch uh, uh, the login uh, once again I can use the password and username as cat I don't need to use my admin credentials also it depends on uh, the requirement so that's it's just like admin control over here so that's it for this session in future session we'll learn about all the other GUI parts of the math and the interface thank you